Hello guys, this is Jyoti Swarup. Welcome to my channel Study with PJs. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about chapter 3 of Total English that is tenses and their uses. Okay, actually, there are three types of tenses one is past, present, and future. Again, in every tense, again, they are classified into four. So, example, if you take present, simple present, present continuous, present perfect present perfect continuous okay so in this video we are going to discuss about simple present and and which type of uh, things comes under simple present okay first uh, one is universal truth okay we will discuss one by one universal truth habitual actions to express immediate present facts to include present period to express future ownerships or relationships verbs like see smell taste conditional clauses time clauses okay so these are the points under simple present so we'll discuss one by one so first what do you mean by universal truth okay universal truths are the things which we cannot change example the sun rises in the east does sun rise in the west no anyone can change the sun rising in the east no uh, and uh, mosquitoes causes malaria is it true yes so these types of universal truths which cannot be changed are used under simple present okay so first of all what do you mean by present tense present tense means the things which are happening at now at this point of time is called present okay so again in this they are classified into four so first one we will discuss about simple present so under simple present we have already discussed about universal truth universal truths are the things which cannot be changed okay example as the sun rises in the east that is about universal truths now moving to the habitual actions okay so habitual actions also come under a simple present what do you mean by habitual actions habitual actions are the things which happen repeat which are also known as repeated actions i wake up early in the morning i brush every day uh, he visits her family every weekend he goes to bed at 11 o'clock every night okay these type of repeatual actions or habitual actions uh, also come under a simple present so now moving to to express immediate present so this means that what is happening at this point of time okay so example you take as here comes the leader see how it looks okay these type of words come under to express immediate present okay just just the two three seconds between the present is called simple present okay comes under the to express immediate present now moving to the facts okay what are the facts so all the facts also comes under a simple present example water freezes at zero degrees celsius or a magnet attract iron fillings okay these types of facts also come under simple present okay now moving to to indicate present period okay what do you mean by to indicate present period example my brother works in factory our house is our house has large windows okay at present describing about anything or any person also comes under simple present okay i have a i have a phone okay this also comes under simple present okay so, now moving to to express future fixed actions okay what do you mean by future fixed actions here example the school holiday begins next week okay so um uh, the another example the match starts at 5 pm okay already uh, the time is fixed for anything then that also comes under simple present okay our school is at eight o'clock every day early in the morning okay this also comes under simple present that is about to express a future fixed actions now moving to ownerships and relationships so ownerships and relationships also come under simple present example this car is mine that by belongs to him he is my brother she is my mother okay so ownerships as well as relationships both of them come under simple present okay now moving to verbs like see smell taste also comes under simple present okay uh, i see her enjoying every moment 
okay i see so here c is the verb okay now he feels for the poor the rose smells sweet okay so these types of words like see smell taste also come under simple present now moving to conditional clauses what do you mean by conditional clauses example if he works hard he will succeed unless he runs he will not win okay so conditional clauses so a condition is given example uh, if he works hard okay if he works hard he will succeed okay here a condition is given okay with a, a sentence framed with a condition is called conditional clause and this also comes under simple present another example like unless he runs fast he will win okay that is about conditional clauses now moving to time clauses what do you mean by time clauses so time clauses are introduced by conjunctions of time example when you reach chennai i shall meet you i will stay there till you come back okay here a specific time is mentioned will when you come back when you reach chennai okay these types of uh, time clauses are used we use simple present at this point of time okay so so this is about simple present so now i will also explain you how to frame words under simple present okay see here in this way you need to form a sentence under simple present this is a positive okay so if you want to tell anyone you need to use in this form okay example we ate cereals for breakfast okay so first we need to use i or we or you or they plus verb it may be eat play go come went slept okay example we ate cereals for breakfast okay we is a uh, we ate it is a verb uh, cereals for breakfast so that is a positive now negative here also same i or we or you or they should come must next play don't okay then the word should come okay then the word should come example we don't eat cereals for breakfast okay in that way now coming to the question tag how will you ask first do okay do next it may be i or we you they plus verb do we eat cereals for breakfast okay in this way you need to frame a sentence under simple present okay so that's it guys we will meet in our next video till then bye bye but don't forget to like share and subscribe